Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Rune Realm. It has been a while since I've made a video for Rune Realm, but today we are back with some amazing client updates. That's why I'm recording the full client today instead of just my gameplay screen. Now, before we get into that, I just want to announce a really juicy giveaway. In today's video, I'll be giving away three of these epic donator caskets. The first epic donator casket will go to the first commenter on today's video. So definitely make sure to turn on those notifications and then there will be two rounds the winners winning one of these caskets each all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed make sure to turn on notifications make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below the winners will be picked in just about two days as always they will be announced in my community discord in the service discord and on my pinned comment links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure to join those so it might be really interesting to know that this whole client was basically written from scratch with IDs of course coming both from RuneLite and OS Buddy. On the top bar you will actually find a few really useful buttons starting off with the screenshot button right here. Now this is really useful because at any point you can just click this and it will take a screenshot of your game capture. Then it will also put that screenshot into the cache folder under your new username that you are logged into. Now also while you are making a screenshot you will get a chat message um, saying where or what the path is to the screenshot so you can go ahead and locate that real quickly. Of course on top of that you have a nice little discord button which will simply open up the discord so you can join that. You have a links panel right here which will open a small sub panel as you can see right here with home vote store and the wiki this will of course link you to those web pages which are really useful especially things like the voting store and wiki are really useful um, both for getting your vote points up and also for getting to the wiki to help you uh, yourself out with certain things now you also have this expand and collapse button right here what this would do is just close this or uh, open this but this would shrink my client which means my recording settings would be too big for um, the client anyways moving on from that there's also these tabs and that's also another reason why I'm leaving this open which are really useful whenever an update is posted on the discord this will also be announced right here as you can see this will have the time with when this update was posted together with a link to the discord so you can actually go ahead and locate this update straight away so as you can see in uh, three days ago six days ago 17 days ago and so on a bunch of things were posted whenever you click on this it will instantly link you to the correct place on discord unfortunately i will not be able to showcase this at this point now you also have the settings tab right here on the client. This will contain all the old features as well from the previous client, which is also really nice. And these will just keep updating each other. There are also a few new um, features as well, like stretched, which is fixed, um, or the stretch fixed mode rather. You have tile markers now, you have close client warnings and the ability to hide and highlight ground items quickly, which is really sick. So starting off, I'm actually going to showcase how you can do that. So you have the ground items right here as you can see it is turned on for me you can also set your color to whatever you want i put purple because that matches my um, channel team but anyways as you can see whenever i drop something this will just be gray however if i press alt and hover over this you see there is a plus and minus button this means that i can either put this into my highlighted section or actually put it into my ignored section with this as you can see the items will now be highlighted or you will not see them in here so whatever you want uh, highlight it as an item whenever you get it as a drop you would just be able to highlight it like that which is very quick and very easy also if you for example highlighted an item but at some point you don't really want that anymore you can just switch it to the minus um, like this and normally with that you should not be able to see the ground item name anymore which is really cool now what's also really nice is that you have this live updating search bar so for example if I want to go to inventory tags which is also a feature that I want to showcase you can also turn this on and off whenever this is toggled on you can right click your inventory symbol and click configure what this will do is it will allow you to right click any object in your inventory and you can actually give this a color right here for example if i would mark this group 5 this will now have a purple outline if i would mark this group 3 it would ha now have a blue outline whenever you are satisfied with this you can just click right uh, or right click save and now you will just have the normal options on those potions once again but they do have those nice little outlines now i personally am a fan of recording in resizable mode because this would allow me to record in high definition which means i could also render in high definition and give the best quality for you guys 
However, on this client, you can actually play in fixed mode. So if you rather have this client loadout, you can actually play in fixed mode on resizable if you want to. All you have to do is check the stretch fixed mode on, and then this will be um, changed. You can also have a live update when you are resizing your clients, whatever you, uh, you have uh, fixed mode on as well. Now you can also do stretch fast mode. This will have a little bit of a quality loss. As you can see, I do not like this one that much, but it is still a really nice option if you want to play the client in fixed mode, but still have a larger screen. Now moving on from that, we also have tile markers. Now this is really interesting and a lot of guides you would find on YouTube for certain PVMing activities, you will see that these are used as well to help you with your PVMing activities doing the best possible method. Now you can actually go ahead and put these on as well. Once again, you can select any color you would like. Once again, I will be picking purple because that is the um, channel color that I have. Once you press shift, you can actually right click on any tile and you can click mark a tile. Whenever this should happen, normally the tiles should mark in just a couple of seconds, as you can see right there. Once it is marked, for example, if I would be fighting a certain NPC and I would have to walk in between those tiles. Right now, this would be very easy to remember where I would have to stand so that is really useful of course if you want to remove all of those tiles you can just click reset tiles it will ask you if you are sure to do this if you click yes then all of these tiles will be gone and you can do this somewhere else with um, some new tiles that you can mark now something else that is really cool is the player panel now you might be asking me why would I need a player panel in my client I already have a player panel right here with all the buttons and stuff now this will actually make things a lot easier. Whenever we select the player panel right here, as you can see, it will be almost identical to this one. It will all have the same features and stuff, but the main difference is that you can do any PVM PVMing activity, have your inventory open, for example, to have your food source or whatever, and you can still check out all of these tabs right here. Of course, the tab right here with some quick links, then you would have the teleportation tab, which you might have to use to teleport to somewhere while you are doing a certain activity with your inventory. You still have the information right here. And actually, I personally think this is a lot easier because you have the full list instead of having the scroll bar that you would have to go through. Uh, and of course, you still have your player panel yourself with your rank selector, title selector, and so on. Things like collection log will still work identical as to the collection log that you would find right here. Also, if you would get an update, for example, I don't have anything unlocked in the corrupt circuses if I pronounce it correctly by the way uh, but anyways if I would get one of these drops and then I would check out the collection log in my client panel as well then this would also be updated instantly which is really great so there's literally no difference between those two it only makes things a lot easier so it's pretty much a quality of life now some of you players are really competitive and therefore they also added this beautiful um, high score lookup. As you can see there are 8 different game modes or 8 different ranks that you would have in game. Let me just look up certain ranks like for example Ultimate Iron Man Alex. As you can see this will light up the Ultimate Iron Man mode right there. You will also see all of his skills with the levels. If you hover over them you would also see how many um, experience they would have left to the next level and you would also see the percentage that they have completed of that level. Also the number right next to it is how many times they have prestige that skill I believe. So as you can see for example Ultimate Iron Man Alex has prestiged 10 times in mining. Now there are also of course some others that you would be able to look up. If I right click for example and we will find my man XP farmer right here. Let's see how much of an XP farmer he actually is whenever we look him up. Now this will also go through the database that they have of all the high scores so you'd pretty much be able to look up anyone in game. XP farmer right here seems like a newer player as he has a lot of skills that aren't actually prestige yet. Also these are combat skills so he's probably not even training those but the skillings uh, or the skills that you actually have to train for mainly skilling related activities are actually quite high they have been prestige and so on and you can also see that he is a normal mode. Now moving on from that of course if you want to get your own experience up you have your experience tracker right here now as you can see i have been doing a few skills by accident throughout the recording of this video which is hunter and some combat skills now whenever you are doing this as you can see you will actually have some updates on your experience tracker 
For example, as you can see right now, my experience gains is going up as well as my experience per hour, uh, per hour is going up as I am catching more of these. Once you are in a certain rhythm, this will be very accurate to the amount of experience that you will be able to obtain per hour. This will also tell you how much experience you have left to get to one bill experience, which is the experience cap on the server. So that is really sick with this. You can also calculate how much you would need left or actually for that you do have a calculator, which is pretty sick. Now you can also reset this to zero if you want to. So you can start from scratch. For example, if you did an activity, but then you went AFK for a couple of minutes and you want an, uh, a precise um, expectation for experience per hour, that's the way you could do that. Now you also have the experience tracker right here. For example, if I would say rune crafting, my current level is uh, 99. My target level is still 99, but I would like to get myself 50 million experience in rune crafting, which means that I would have, um, for example, let's say 25 experience per action. Let's see what this would come out to. This would mean that I would have to do 1.4 million actions in order to get to 50 million experience in rune crafting. Now, of course, this is very inaccurate with what the experience per action actually is. So do not expect to have to do that many actions. However, this is really sick if you know the experience that you want to go for and you want to calculate how long things would take. This is a very good method of how you can do that. Now, last but not least, if you drink, for example, from the super chalice right here, you will actually be able to get yourself some potion timers, as you can see right there. Now, you can minimize those in game already. However, these can be really annoying if you don't want them there. Pretty much what they have added is potion timers in here and you also have the ability to minimize all of those with this click with that if you have any other potion timers going as well it will not be shown here but you would be able to track the potion timers in your client itself which is pretty sick. Now, of course, there are multiple timers that will be counting down here. For example, right now I am doing the overload timer. However, there are still timers, for example, for a double experience stone, for totem block, for froze, uh, for being frozen, for vengeance, for divine potions, imbued heart, etc. So there is a lot of things that you would be able to save some space with here just by putting it in your client. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I just want to give some massive credits to my man Alex for putting together this amazing client with all of these really cool features if you guys want to check that out for yourself definitely make sure to click the link down below in the description to join rune realm for yourself but anyways with all that said this is where i will be ending up the video if you guys did enjoy the video definitely make sure to leave a like down below make sure to be subscribed to the channel also make sure to enter the giveaway and i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace